Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn what is APM and I will go very basic step by step so do not worry if you do not know anything about APM. We will start from scratch and to start with APM is an open source tool to automate mobile applications. So APM is a platform which is open source and it is used to automate or do test automation on mobile applications and with APM we can automate native web and hybrid mobile applications so hybrid is a combination of native and web and to understand this if I go to Google and just search for uh, native web and hybrid apps and I will go to the images and here you can see some example so if I go to this image and let me just show you very quickly so native mobile application is a application which is native to your mobile device for example a calculator application or a calendar or a camera and then the web mobile applications are the applications that you can access using the mobile browser like Chrome or Safari and then we have some hybrid applications which are a combination of native and web so these are native applications but they can also interact with web using some browser or a native uh, web container so these are the three applications that APM can support and it can also support Android, iOS and Windows desktop platforms. So APM can support all these platforms and we can also write APM uh, client or APM scripts in multiple programming languages. I will discuss on all these programming languages but for now this is exactly what you need to know about APM for starting and if anybody asks you about APM in an interview or generally this is what you can say. So the things to remember here is it is a mobile automation tool. It supports native web and hybrid mobile applications. It can be used on Android, iOS and Windows desktop mobile platforms and these are the languages supported so the languages are Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, PHP, JavaScript and Robot Framework and above all it is an open source platform. So if I again go to Google and I will just search for what is APM and you will find this official page for APM which is apm.io if I go here and I will also go to the Wikipedia so you can see a Wikipedia link here I will also go here so this is the official page for APM and here you can see the introduction to APM and all the documentation you can find here and now if I go and briefly discuss on the history of APM it was created in 2011 by Don Cure and it was named iOS Auto and written in C Sharp programming language and in 2012 it was made open source. So on the history what you need to remember is it was created in 2011 the author was Don Cure and it was named iOS Auto and in 2012 it was made open source and if you go to the Wikipedia link and all these links will be available to you. Uh, you can see here it was created in 2011 and in 2012 it became open source and in January 2013 Source Labs agreed to fund APM's development. So this is briefly on the history of APM and if you want to know the design or you should have some brief understanding on the design of APM if I again go to Google and I will just search for APM design and I will go to the images so you can see this image to understand briefly on the design and do not worry on design or architecture I am going to have a separate session to discuss on this in a detailed way so you can see this is the very simple design of APM so we have web driver script so APM actually uses the selenium web driver library and that is the reason it can be used in all the programming languages that are supported by Selenium WebDriver. So we will write our scripts here using the WebDriver library and using the WebDriver wire protocol which is also called as JSON wire protocol. Our scripts which can be written in any programming language are converted to HTTP REST based requests 
which can be understood by the APM server. So here we write our scripts in any programming language. Then when we run the JSON wire protocol or web driver wire protocol converts our scripts into uh, HTTP REST based requests which are understood by APM server and then APM server runs these requests and runs automation on mobile applications using the native automation framework of that particular mobile device. Now what does this mean is if I again go to the introduction of APM page you can see here we have some automation frameworks specific to the platform for example if you are using iOS then we have XUI test or UI automation if you are using Android then we have instrumentation cell Android which are deprecated and as of now we are using UI automator so APM actually interacts with these native frameworks of that particular mobile device and then runs our script to do automation on that particular application and you can see the same thing here as well so this is the simple architecture we have APM client which can be written in any of the language then using the web driver JSON protocol it is converted to rest based HTTP requests which are understood by the APM server and then if you are using iOS it will be using UI automation or for Android UI automator framework to interact with the um, uh, the mobile applications so this is in a very simple uh, words what design of APM is and do not worry as of yet I will have a separate session and these are the languages supported by APM that we have already discussed and you can also go to this page and you can see all these languages and you can go to any of these language and it will take you to that particular library and I will provide all these links in the description of this video so you can see this is for Java and so on and then here we have some more useful links so let me just show you this is the introduction of APM that I have already shown you and this is the uh, languages supported and the client libraries and here we have the platform support so iOS support and you can see all these frameworks here and for Android we have all this so these all are deprecated and as of now we are using UI Automator 2 and then for Windows this is what we are using and this is the official github page for APM so all these notes will be available to you and I believe we have started understanding APM in a very simple way in the coming sessions we will go more deeper and then finally we will install set up APM for both Windows and Mac OS and we will start our practicals and automation with APM I hope this all was very useful for you thank you for watching